brothers and sisters, we are out here in the garden, the new garden of Eden. Now, you're wondering, why do I say this? Because it is. This is the judgment yard. So, with that said, President Donald Trump is putting my brothers and sisters in harm's way. Now, the COVID-19, there's a second coming of it. The second coming of the COVID-19 is going to be much worse. Much worse. You have no idea what's to come. My intel is correct. I'm here to give you the intel. I got no fingers pointing back at me, ever. So, brothers and sisters, we have a president that has gone loony. Loony. He probably needs to go in the loony bin. So, in the time of... COVID-19, we know this, a lot of people have died, okay, from this illness, so we have a president that does not understand the seriousness and the implications that could, that are going to take place from this, he is putting my people, not only my people, but God's people, okay, God's people, in harm's way. What's gonna happen when you do something silly like that? You put God's people in harm's way of the COVID-19 virus, which by the way, go back to my videos, I said it was fake, but I, was, I wasn't aware of how real it is until I saw the numbers. Now, the numbers do not lie. Putting my people in jeopardy of getting an illness that could potentially kill them, bringing people back to work well that is not gonna fly with anybody in my family my family's strong and we roll strong together but under the eyes of God and God's family we roll even stronger so <clears throat> if he's gonna do that well it leads me to think he wants more people to get sick <laughs> why would he want more people to get sick is the question maybe because he doesn't give a shit about anybody except for himself, which is pretty obvious at this point. So, what is the solution to this? Let's raise the vibrational frequency. Well, in the times of the COVID-19, we have been told that we need to, we need to stay inside, quarantine. Now, he's letting people back at work much too early much too early dude why do I say this because I don't want people getting sick from this the numbers don't lie okay the numbers don't lie man people are dying from this virus and I, I mean this virus is, is, is worse than we had expected now again he's trying to disassociate himself from Bill Gates but brothers and sisters this is where he associates himself back with Bill Gates this is part of the plan. This is a part of his agenda. God's plan will prevail. So part of his agenda is this. So he disassociates himself from Bill Gates. Why would he do that? Because somebody needs a scapegoat in order to stay in office. Well, he found a scapegoat. The one he was once in cahoots with. So if he's going to turn, turn his back on his own people which is not you, that is not I, not the American people, but if he's going to turn his back on us, his, uh, so no longer do I, never did I stand with him. I thought he was a good person at first, but I didn't really know much about him. So if he's going to put my brothers and sisters in harm's way, well, it's time to start, start speaking of this, because... Are you fucking crazy? The COVID-19? You're going to put people in harm's way of this? That's absurd. That is absurd. That's outrageous. And we ain't having it. We won't stand for this. Now, why is he going to put people in harm's way besides the fact he wants people to get sick? It's because he knows that we, as the lifeblood of the system, are the ones running the show. Everything's starting to come full circle. What goes around comes around, President Trump. You heard me, I said it, President Trump. You are the president for now. And 
he has a bad mind and he has a horrible agenda and his plan is to exterminate Americans. Now, I could go much deeper into this right now. I'm not going to. Because, ooh, butterfly. That's right. I love butterflies. <laughs> butterflies are beautiful. So right now, he's turning on his people. President Trump is turning on his own people right now as we speak by letting him go back to work when we already know the COVID-19 is obviously real. I was misinformed by my intelligence community. Okay? Now, misinformation. Yes, it happens from time to time. For me, rarely. Why would he do this? Again, I'm going to recap on this in my Garden of Eden. This is going to go down in history as one of the biggest, most... One of the most sickest things a president could do. Again, back to one of my videos. Why do presidents even be, have to be behind, be behind a bulletproof car? Let's think twice about this again. Hitler. Okay, everybody loved him. I'm not saying he's a good person because he wasn't. He killed Jewish people. And you know what? I'm Israelite. Which means, yes, I am of Jewish descent. He is trying to kill off the population. Why is he doing this? One, because he wants you to go back into slavery. But two, because he wants everybody to get sick. He wants America sick again. He says, let's make America great again. Well, I don't see it. All I see is him making these stupid ass decisions in order to get people sick. So brothers and sisters, if you want to know the remedy to all this, don't go back to work. Do not go back to work, because you're not getting paid very well, are you? No, I didn't think so. I didn't think you were. Let me ask you this again. Are you getting paid at work? Are you able to um, raise a, a family? Are you able to pay all your bills? Or do you live paycheck to paycheck? Boycott the system. We ain't having it. Say no. Don't go back to work, because... This is the reason why we have unions. The union of God. The unions up in New York. Okay? We have unions for a purpose. If you don't know what a union is, it's where everybody gets together to make a difference and gets paid correct. Now, he's doing this because one, he wants people sick, and two, he wants you back into slavery. You want to go back into slavery? Ask yourself that question. So, Take the time off right now, get right, and literally take the time. If you are on right now, if you are on um, unemployment, stay on unemployment right now. Do not go back into slavery. He's trying to put you back into slavery, and he's trying to get you sick. I thought we were making America great again. Well, he's not. He's not making America great again nor he will he make it great in the future. And that's where God comes in again. I'm a full believer in God. Did I used to be? Absolutely not. I thought it was fake, dude. I thought he was fake until something happened. And I don't want to talk about it. I'll speak about it in one of my next, one of my other videos. It goes really deep. But I have been channeled energy that I really, I, I can't really explain it because it goes so deep. But brothers and sisters, boycott the system. Do not stand up for your rights and don't take this fucking shit. I thought we were making America great again. Well, if he's going to get you sick and he's going to keep you poor, let's flip the script. Stay on unemployment, don't go back to work, and boycott the system. We're going to do this together, brothers and sisters. Because right now, there is one beautiful thing happening on earth. I'm not going to overstate it. But I will overstate this. He is not your friend. He's not my friend. And we are living in a biblical time. He wants you to live in reverse. You understand? He wants you to live in reverse. He doesn't want you to move forward with your life. Why? Because he's scared of the people. I don't blame him. I'd be scared of the people too. If you don't know what time it is, now you do. Stay on unemployment. Boycott the system.
Y'all need to learn. This is the reason my channel needs to grow quickly. We don't have we don't have time right now. Time is running out. With that said, brothers and sisters, may peace be with you and also with you. Do not let this piece of shit put you back into slavery. Mental slavery. None of that. None of that's gonna happen. We're gonna stop. We're gonna we ain't having it. We're putting an end to it now. Now sus dedos por el arpa cuatro onzas de mercurio implantada en sus labios comunícate conmigo por ondas de radio así no te afectará el pesimismo que radio lo demás no te preocupes que tendrá remedio quiero convertirme en tu alfa que tú seas mi omega que sea mi serenata convertir en oro tu corazón de hojalata porque veo en ti una bondad de inteligencia innata quiereme pa' siempre y no hace falta que me lo digas que no hace falta contigo mis cotas son cada vez más altas tú sabes cómo encerrar a mi mister hay posee su aula solo tú sabes cerrarla tu discurso me lo aprendí hace ya unos años pensando grande siendo todavía muy pequeño no quiero regalar mi sudor no es que sea tacaño y eso lo sabes muy bien desde que nos conocemos arrancame las hojas que aún sigo así en otoño intenta protegerte de tu pronto caducifolio jugando con la sombra de tu cuerpo en el biombo fusionándonos convirtiéndonos en un binomio al final quedaremos en el crematorio no necesito que vengas a darme clases de oratorio Solo la perseverancia te hace hacer historia Ha llegado el día en que te desligue de tu catatonia Quiero ser tu alfa, que tú seas mi omega No que esto sea una estafa de esas que grabadas quedan Cúrame de querer otro que no sea yo mismo Sé que podré agarrarme a ti cuando haya caído